Hi! I'm recording this quick clip because several people have asked for more detail concerning our boarding step. So I just wanted to give a little more information and uh, kind of provide some more video of it so that you can make your own if you are interested. But uh, let's see here. This is actually the second step that we have made for our boats. The first one was just a single platform step for an Endeavor 32. However, this boat has much taller freeboard. And uh, the other factor here is that in this dinghy, we have to actually step from the bottom of this dinghy, you know, up to, you know, the boat one way or another. If we had an inflatable, uh, by contrast, we'd be able to step from the tube up, and that saves you, you know, maybe 18 inches right there. So having a step like this is really important for us. But let me show you what this is. So we're a little rocky here, might be clunking into it a little bit, but you know, just, just stand by and bear with me. What the material is, it is a plastic that is used for building docks. The brand is called Bear Board. It is uh, six inches wide, uh, one inch thick, and I bought this in six foot long lengths. Now it is kind of expensive stuff. I think that six foot or possibly an eight foot long length was something like $80. Uh, but, I mean, it's really, really tough stuff, and you know, it's designed to be outside, highly UV resistant, so it'll probably stand up for many years of hard use. So I just cut these, you know, two long pieces for the upper step, three long pieces for the bottom step, and they're, they're all identical, all five of these long pieces are identical. And then on the underside, there's, you know, shorter pieces running, you know, out from the boat on either side. The bottom step has slightly longer pieces. So the bottom step is three of these long boards. The top step is two of these long boards. And then the hardware I used on these, you can't really see it all that good because I recessed it into the boards. Uh, but it is really high grade uh, 3 16 steel hardware. Now, if you want to build a step like this, don't just go to the hardware store and buy any 316, you know, hardware. Get some good quality stuff. Just confirm that it is legit high-end 316 grade hardware uh, or better. Um, there's a lot of, uh, you know, kind of fake, you know, stainless hardware out there and it will rust on you quickly. You'll have to rebuild this thing. So yeah, that's talking about the hardware. And then let's see, what else have we got here? This is just, uh, you know, standard, uh, you know, polyester double braid rope, like what you would use on a halyard or a sheet. I think this is uh, 5 16 size. And then, you know, you just have to figure out the lengths. But this is one continuous length on this side, and it's one continuous length on the other side. And I just, you know, tied a little, you know, eye on the upper end. And then there's a little, um, you know, figure eight knot down here, or a stopper knot, and a figure eight knot down here. And that's what's supporting this thing. And then finally, we've just got two, you know, uh, stainless steel carabiners, you know, attaching to the boat. And then, well, I guess I could also say that uh, these pad eyes here, you know, are also attached to the boat. Those are, re again, really high grade 316 uh, stainless steel pad eyes. So, you know, it's good high quality stuff. You know, it takes a little time to make it. The good thing is you can kind of make it to suit your own boat and the own, your own height and uh, your own dinghy and uh, kind of build it around your own uses and customize it for yourself. But pretty simple to make. You know, it takes a little bit of forethought and planning, but really simple to build and uh, really, really tough. And it's been serving us well. Okay. Okay.